So here we've got a utility function uh, of food and shelter. And as discussed in the last video, one thing we can do with this is talk about a concept called marginal utility. Okay. With production functions, we had the marginal product of each of the inputs. So those were capital and labor, and it was how much extra capital or how much extra output you got if you got a little more labor or a little more capital. Here, the marginal utility is also the partial derivative with respect to one of the inputs. So this is the marginal utility of food, the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to food, F. And this tells us how much extra utility we get when we get a little bit more food, okay? This can also be denoted capital M, U, and like a little subscript for F for the you know, for, to stand for food or whatever other input is here. You could also have the marginal utility of shelter. And it's just the partial derivative of that utility function with respect to S for shelter. And you can denote that MU with a little s. Okay? So even this is one of those situations where it's useful to sort of pretend for the moment that utility is a measure of how happy you are, how much pleasure you get. Because then it's really easy to think about what this uh, marginal uh, utility is giving us, okay? So if I get a little bit more food, how much does my pleasure or happiness go up? And one assumption that is gonna turn out to be important for some of our results is called diminishing marginal utility. This doesn't have to hold but we tend to think it, it usually holds, and uh, a lot of our results sort of assume that it's the norm. Okay, so diminishing marginal utility means that the second derivative, so if you take the derivative, for example, of food twice, is less than or equal to zero. Okay? This could also be written as just the derivative of sort of the marginal utility of food with respect to food. Okay. Technically, I guess if it's diminishing, there shouldn't be an equal sign here. Uh, but we're going to mostly focus on diminishing versus you could technically have increasing marginal utility. And that would be that the second derivative of something is positive. Now, what does this all mean? If the marginal utility of food is diminishing, that means that that first bit of food you get increases your utility by a lot. It's this idea that you're really hungry and sort of that first bite of food that satisfies your sort of starvation hunger is like amazing. It's like one of the best moments of your life. I think of uh, like when the uh, survivors of the, uh, there was this uh, soccer team that crashed in the mountains of South America. They had to live up in the mountains for you know weeks and weeks and months and months and then they eventually hiked the few survivors that hiked back down uh, when they first had a piece of bread they like thought it was cake that they were being given because that's how hungry they were and how deprived so that's the idea that that first bite is really powerful but then as you keep eating the extra utility you get from eating more and more food starts to diminish. You get more full, so you like the taste, but it's not satisfying your hunger as much anymore. And eventually you get sick of the taste, and it could even go negative where an extra bite just makes you sick, okay? And we tend to think that holds for lots of goods, not just food. Same with shelter. If you're living in, like, if you're cramped into a space and you're sharing a bed with other people and, that's the, and you have no other space, then getting an extra foot on your bed so that you're not crammed up against the wall is really valuable to you. As you get like the first room, like if we give you a second foot after that, it's not as valuable. If, if you're living in a mansion and you get an extra foot, you barely even notice it, okay? The extra utility that you get from the same increment increase gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, you can think of examples of things that are not like that. We could probably invent some kinds of products where at least over some domain, the more you get, the happier you are. So like stuff where having a little bit isn't very useful, but having a lot is like really useful. But I struggle to think of things. So we typically assume that diminishing marginal utility is 
uh, is expected. And that's useful because diminishing marginal utility has the implication that our indifference curves bend in like this, okay? And this property where they bend in is called convexity. So they're convex indifference curves. And that occurs if the marginal utility of something is less than or equal to zero, okay? So what, what do I mean by convex indifference curves? Well, let me try and draw sort of the range of possibilities. Anything from here to here, anything that can kind of fit in that box is convex. So for example, this would be convex. Something that has a really hard right angle would be convex. Something that's almost linear, even something that is linear would technically be convex. What wouldn't count is something that starts here but then kind of goes out through here. So you can't have diminishing marginal uh, utility means that we don't have indifference curves with this kind of shape. Or something like this. We kind of have, we don't, we, it avoids these kind of inward bends like this, okay? And in later units, this assumption will be important, okay? But for now, I think the main thing to know is that uh, to find the marginal utility, you need to take the second derivative. So you find the marginal utility by taking the derivative, and the, uh, if it, whether it's diminishing or increasing, you take the derivative of that.